I will never stop to deliver student debt relief on hardworking Americans, and it's only in the interest of America that we do it. And again, it's for the good of our economy. There you heard it, President Biden unveiling his latest effort to expand student loan relief in Madison today. The loan forgiveness would apply to people who have been paying undergrad loans for 20 years or more and applies to borrowers who can prove financial hardships prevent them from repaying those loans. The president made that announcement from the Madison College campus, which is where we find our political reporter, Will Keneally, who joins us now with the very latest. Will. Well, as you mentioned, the president's announcement will target specific borrowers, and it actually comes after the U.S. Supreme Court struck down an earlier attempt to eliminate student debt. And the Supreme Court blocked us, but that didn't, well, that didn't stop us. The newest effort by the Biden administration will target student debt relief for specific borrowers. That includes those who have been paying back loans for more than 20 years, borrowers who owe more now than when they started due to interest, and students who were cheated. We plan to cancel debt for borrowers who the Department of Education determines were cheated by universities that left students on unaffordable loans and delivered little in benefits to students. This comes amid an election year where Wisconsin will be a key swing state for the Biden campaign to turn out. And those younger voters still dealing with debt are important for Democrats to turn out as well. During his speech, Biden made promises for what a possible second term might look like. And I've been pushing this, and if I'm reelected, I'm going to push it hard. We're going to get it done next time. Is I want to make community college tuition free. <laughs> so you won't need loans at all. Madison College President Jack Daniels says reducing some of those barriers for students can make a big difference. So I think it has a lot of potential. But I also know that, you know, through the processes that we have, it will be, it could be difficult. Now, after this Madison event, the president jetted down to Chicago for a fundraiser. Now, coming up tonight at 6, we'll have more coverage of the president's visit, including a breakdown from our own craft from work about what kind of impact this will have for Wisconsin students. Reporting from Madison College, Will Keneally, News 3 Now.